Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to change the selected tab index on a tab bar from any view controller in um, the app. So we're just going to call this a uh, change selected tab. Basically uh, in a tab bar you might want a way to change between the tabs um, if you want to let's say you have one page on a different tab you want to switch to that tab so it's quite simple we're going to be making use of the notification um, passing data through notifications which I talked about yesterday but I'm going to show you guys how to use it it's really simple so no need to worry um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a tab bar controller and oh, my view controller seems to have got buried but I'm just going to delete this put this in here and we'll just drag this to create that oops I think I might have made a regular segue instead of a relationship segue okay and I'm just going to swap those around like that okay and okay so let's make this uh, blue let's make this one I mean this one orange this one blue and I will also change the tab bar if I can or have I forgotten how to um, tab bar we'll just change this um, how do I change this do I have to make this orange okay I guess not um, Okay, maybe I'll just choose a different color because I can't figure out right now. Uh, so let's just make this yellow instead. Uh, actually, that's a bit too close. I'm going to make it green. All right, that's fine. So now what we have to do is we're just going to create a, a tab bar controller for this tab bar uh, so we can actually control it. And to do that, all you have to do is you go here, click new file, click a touch glass, make sure it's UI tab bar controller here. Uh, let's just name it something like uh, tab bar controller it can just be anything like that once you've created it you should go with this we'll just delete all of that and link this up to this so select your tab bar and put in what you just named it and once you've done that if you go to the assistant you should see that your tab bar controller comes up which is what you're looking for uh, what's this error Oh yeah, we also need to make this the entry view controller. That should just be how your tab bar is anyway. Alright, so now what we're going to do is basically um, let's add a button on this view controller. Basically, when we click this button, we want to switch to this tab. So all we're going to do is we can just go to this. Uh, let's create a button, button clicked, and um, wait one second. Let me just check something here. Self dot tab bar item dot selected. Okay, yeah. So you can't do that. So I think you can't do that. So yeah. Now we I can use my actual solution. So basically, when we click this button, go to page two, which is this page. So when we click this button, it's going to take us to this page. So what we can do is when this button is clicked we're going to launch a notification to this tab bar controller which is going to pick this up and execute it so to do that we're going to have to first make a function in here at objective c func and let's just call it change index index int and inside of this it's pretty simple once you're in the tab bar controller you just have to do self dot selected index is equal to index like that and let's add an observer in here as um, notification center dot default dot add observer and uh, observer actually no what we need to do instead is we need to get the so let's just make a notification and this notification and I'll make it optional for the time being so the observer is self select objective C method change index and notification name um, have I spelled notification? Notif 
Oh, that should be an I. Copy and paste that. And for the name, let's just give it a name. So notification notification dot name dot change tab bar. Actually, let me make it simple. Change index, just so we don't end up spelling it wrong. And for object, uh, we want this to be nil. Okay, so now we actually have to pass it, and um, I'll do this after I've set up the notification in here, so I can show you guys what I'm doing. But when this button is clicked, we're going to have to create some data. So let index data. This is going to hold the index which you want to change to, and it's just going to be a dictionary. So string string. This is how we pass data through NS notifications, and we just call it the key index. And we'll give our number as a string, so let's give it um, one. Actually, I wonder if we can change this to string int, and now we can do index one. And this is the index which we want to change it to since there's two indexes, and we want the second one, but it, since it starts from zero, it's actually zero one. So the index one is the second page. And now what we can do is we can just load that notification, so notification center dot default dot post notification dot name um, for the name we'll just give it the same name as we gave it here and like that for the object we'll do nil and we have to add in a new parameter called user info and this is where we give our data there so let's just build this no errors good and once we're in here so we pass in our data like this now all we need to do is we can do let index is equal to notification um, must have done that wrong but we'll just leave that maybe I won't make it optional then okay so notification notification index this is the key we just got and now what we can do is we can just do this um, what's happened here Hmm. That's weird. Uh, am I initializing it wrong? Um, notification, NS notification, and oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. User info, and then we get it like this. Okay, so that's what I was doing wrong, and I think I also need to make that optional. Um, cannot assign as in. Let me just do that. Uh, let me actually move that there so it's cleaner. But yeah, okay, so now let's run this, see if this works. And I'm hoping that this does work. It should work. Uh, so let's just see. So we should start on page one with a button. And okay, here we are. And you can see that these are two pages. I haven't given them any uh, images, so you just look a bit weird, but you can just ignore that for now. So if we click go to page two, it goes straight to page two, just like that. And you can change this. So if you want to go to, um, I don't know, there's only two pages, but if I make this index zero, now this is the same as the page we're on since this is the first page. So if we try and click this, it's just going to stay exactly where we are. But yeah, so this is how you switch indexes. It's a pretty neat hack. All you do is you just give index data and you do that here. Call this and then you can just handle this like this. And the good thing about this is that you can just copy this code and you can also put it into a global function. So let's make a global function here. Change index and let's just put it index as an int and now if you put that in there um, you can just call this function from your view controller so we'll just delete this change index and let's make the index one and now that's all you have to do and you can call this function from anywhere and it should work so if you click go to page two go straight to page two like that so yeah, this is another way of doing it. If you just copy this and then copy all of this code in, all you have to do is call this function and the page you want to go to and it will work. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!